Hey guys, Glass Golf again. Uh, this is part two of the Trump versus Hillary. Why Trump's economic and um, energy independence bill is better than Hillary's. Um, part one, I went over the fastest way. To this would be a quick way to stimulate our economy with the wells and the refineries and the natural gas for export. Keystone Pipeline, all that. Go watch the video. Um, you'll understand it better. Let's get on to this video. Okay. Now, Hillary Clinton's interested in two things and two things only. And that's green energy. And of the, the two things, and there's two items in the green energy. Windmills and solar panels. Well, she got some problems. First up, <coughs> excuse me. They don't make a lot of money. For wind turbines, you need wind. For solar panels, you need the sun. And you don't get this 24-7 like you do with our fuels. And that's one of the big strikes against them. Unless you do, they're pretty expensive. Now, the... Um, another thing. What you gonna do? A lot of other world countries, they can't afford that shit. They're not interested in it. They'd rather have coal. That's what they can afford. You ain't gonna be able to export that as much as that as you would with our oil and um, coal. I'll get back to that later. You know, so that's strike one. Along with strike one, Trump knows this too. You know, wind power and solar power do have its place. And he's not going to let a chance of income go to waste. You know, especially if some uh, major advantage ever comes, you know, major revelation to make this good. Hell, let's America discover it and we can export that shit. Make some money off of it. You know, diversify. That's a thinker. Diversify. The more chances of income you got, the more you'll be successful. So if one goes down, you got the other four back your ass up. So that's strike one. And, and don't get me wrong, I <laughs> I'm not against green energy, folks. I'm for it. I, I have no problem with it. It's just it's just not available as well. You know, it's too expensive. It's not as good as it's promised to be. There's a, green energy is good. We need to work on it. We need to use it where we can. We gotta be realists. I don't care what the greeners say. You know, it just ain't up to par yet. No, it's great to power one house, but you can't quite power an entire city very well with it. Now, when it comes to size comparison, okay, that's all I'm saying. <coughs> Yeah, Hillary just wants to concentrate on the green energy and screw the rest. That's a bunch of income we could be gaining. Yeah. Now the second income, the second thing against her, and this is that it's already been tried for the past eight years. It's failed miserably. Look at the billion, look at the billions and billions of dollars that the Obama government spent on green energy. Look at all the companies that took it. How many were successful? How many went bankrupt? Quite a few. Um, the only one that was really successful was Tesla. Um, you know, the ones with the electric cars, they're pretty successful with it. Uh, I think there's one more company, I can't think of its name. The rest of them pretty much went to hell. Went bankrupt. No, which means we lost our investment. The Obama government, the Obama administration, Pissed away our taxpayer money on piss poor investment. There's nothing wrong with investment. We go get results. And, and what do you do? Oh, we got piss poor results. Let's go spend some more money. No, you don't fucking spend more money when something that just failed. You know, you like putting like regulations. I was waiting to make a better deal. And okay, I'm going to lend this money, but I want more results. Anyway. Back to Hillary and Trump.
<clears throat> so almost all those companies fail. And so, <laughs> so after all that mess, Hillary wants to go back to it. What bullshit is that? How stupid is she? This that should tell you right off the bat. She is not fucking smart. So I admit she ain't got no damn clue on how to run the economy. She wants to turn it back over to man. First woman president has to fall back to a man just to get the economy going. Hey, I'm gonna go get Bill. What's up with that shit? You wanna be the first woman president, but you wanna give it back to a man. As soon as you get you haven't even stepped in the White House yet, you've relented you relinquished your throne. I ain't even a woman, and I find that insulting. <coughs> so, after that, is another strike against her. Like I said, it's the cost. People can't afford this, folks. They're not going to get into it. It's going to sit. And that's up, you know, so, it's going to be another wasted investment. With the taxpayer's money. Because you know it's going to be our money again. Yeah, because no, no country's going to buy that. Hell, China ain't going to buy that shit. Russia's not going to buy that shit. Europe might. Africa's not. <laughs> Saudis definitely aren't. Because they want to sell their oil. Brazil won't. They're selling coal. There's no investment there. So, that's three, that's three strikes on one plane. Now, you know, the bonus, another bonus to Trump <coughs> is that investing in just the first three items alone, as I've discussed, and I'm surprised they haven't mentioned this, you know, themselves. You know, or maybe they have, and I just haven't heard it yet. Um, but all this would help the steel mill industry. Yeah, think about it. All the steel and aluminum that will be going in these wells and refineries would, hell, that'd kick them into overdrive. You know, that's how powerful this economy pl economic plan could be, this energy plan. Hell, you throw in the Navy, rebuild shit. The steel mills might have to build up more steel mills. They might see the biggest boom in their end of the business since World War II. There you go, Pennsylvania. There's your reason to vote Trump. Get all your steel mills back, Michigan. Get some steel mills back. Now we can pop up new steel mills across the country. <clears throat> Hell. Here's another great idea thing about Trump's plan. On this. On the gas, oil, and... <coughs> excuse me. And coal. Won't cost the American taxpayer a fucking dime right. The American government wants to pay a damn dime, which means it's free. And what I mean by that? You got fucking investors. Private money investors. There are a shit ton of private money investors who are just sitting on land that they know oil and gas is under, and they are just chomping at the bit to get to that. They're just waiting for someone in fucking D.C. to give them the go-ahead. Yeah. People, hell, you could be sitting on there right now. That might be one of you. Hell, you could be making money. There's a good but money in your pocket. Just by him flipping the switch he drill. Wouldn't cost us a damn dime. Could go all by private investors. You'd have private investors for the refineries, you know, whether it be Shell, ExxonMobil, that's private money. Don't give them a fucking tax break. Fuck that shit. Put the refineries out in Nevada, Utah, where there's fucking deserts. Where it's not going to hurt nothing. Put them out in deserts. Yeah, I put some refineries closer to fucking California and drive them prices down. Yeah, it won't cost you a dime. You got investors. They pay for it. Don't give them, like I said, don't give them no tax breaks. Make them pay for it. Don't make their money back. Same with the drillers. Hey, come drill on my property. I want, you know, I want to sell out some barrels of oil. Make some money off my land. Hell, they do it all over the place. So, Oklahoma, Texas, hell, I believe the Dakotas, North and South, got some damn oil going on. You could have some multi-millionaires going up overnight. Landers, could be you. 
Think about that shit. And it's free. No one damn time. Coal, you know, before you go on the coal miners, oh, they might need money to start back up. You know, government don't have to pay for that. Get get loans from banks. Banks say the coals are going up. Coal mines can open back up. Government says it's okay. They'll loan some fucking money. Like, oh yeah, we'll loan you a couple, you know, a couple hundred million dollars, a couple billion dollars. Yeah, they're going to make some money off of that. There you go. Stimulate the banking economy. That's how good this plan is, folks. And it's, you know, Trump's thinking. I, get, I bet you, you did all this. In fact, leave the rest and just concentrate on the wells alone, the cheapest. You can get done in the first six months of office. Within the first six months of the year, this could drive up our GDP about 2%. By 2, 2.0. Then the overdrive, you know, I could probably get it in cheaper. Um, I could probably, you know, go my way and probably get 2.5 to 3 in just the first year alone. On top of what we are getting, the one we're getting. Yeah, think about that, folks. That would be 3 to 4 GDP. It'd be 3.0 to 4.0 GDP. Do you all know how fucking crazy that would be? How much money we'd make? And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Finish the Keystone Pipeline, the refineries, export more shit. Get the contracts made and shipping out that coal. We'd see growth like you wouldn't believe, folks. That's all you need to vote Trump. Trump 2016. Fuck Hillary. God, don't, don't, you know. Freak, you know, and forget the third parters. They, they, they ain't got a clue. That ends part two of this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you're liking these videos. I know it's pretty close to the election. Getting these out as quick as possible. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys take care. I'll see you next time.